Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 46. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, so, uh, after my complete cock-up of the last episode, I've realised, uh, the audio's too loud. So I've adjusted it, I've corrected it, we should be good now. And we're going to take part in the ultimate tuner challenge, this is Skyline versus Supra. We're going to be taking the Mines R34 and we have absolutely maxed this out. It is now U999. <coughs> Sign off with Maple Valley. Moving on to Nissan Speedway, Suzuka Circuit and King Cobra and I'm about to choke. <coughs> All right, here we go. Starting off in first position, obviously. We've got an insanely powerful car. Flipping egg. Okay, that is something else. Whoa. This is basically what the X-Class cars were like. Not bad. I mean, I know I said I wanted faster cars, and sure... But this still isn't like... I want to get into the race cars. I don't even know how long it's going to be before we start getting into race cars. But... We do have uh, some point in the future, I think about three or four episodes time. Is going to be... Um, Forza Motorsport 2 round Miguelo. S-Class vehicles. Very excited for that one. Because uh, S-Class around Magello is Pog. <clears throat> Smack my bitch up. <laughs> We've understeered. <clears throat> the braking force is unreal as well in this car. Jesus, this thing is insanely fast. I had to go on the brakes, otherwise we were going in the pit lane. I mean, to be fair, if we went in the pit lane, it wouldn't be so bad. But still. I still will not forget that time when we did the uh, Maple Valley Endurance event. I've understeered into it again. Uh, yeah, I won't forget that time when we did the Maple Valley Endurance. And um, we ended up going into the pits. And missing our pit box. Like, the car just went straight past the pit box. 
and came out of the pit lane. We ended up doing two. Two pit stops for that, which is crazy. We still got away with it, though. We got away with the position. Look wonky. What fell off? I genuinely cannot work out what's fallen off the car to make it look so wonky. That's strange. This definitely was a good choice, though. Oh my god, we got around the corner this time. Unbelievable. It's almost like if you use the brakes, you'll get around the corner. Wow. Spectacular. It's been four years since the Prodigy last released an album, and it's been nearly four years since Keith Flynn. In fact, it might have been four years now. That's crazy, though. I remember being in college and hearing about the news that he passed away. Crazy. Honestly, the Prodigy as a whole, all three of them, they were extremely talented individuals. Drift time. Stop. Hammer time. We actually may lap a car before the end of this race, but it depends how well we get around this corner. Ah, oh, didn't quite do it. Oh well, here we go. Nissan Speedway. The fact that this has a lighter flight, um... Is it flywheel? That's what it's called. Here it is. Flywheel. The fact that we've got a lighter one means that this engine just revs up like crazy. That's 200 miles an hour easily. Get around this corner and work out the top speed. Woo! Hey, Bigsby. Hey, Bigsby. It's not going to work now. It hates me. It's 
It's gone on strike. What is 356 kilometers an hour in... Alright, ignore me. Fucking dumbass. Assistant thing. What is 356 kilometers an hour in miles an hour? It's done it again. What is 300 and... What is 356 kilometers an hour? Cheers for telling me that 356 is 356, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Goddamn technology. But your chat could respond quicker than this. What is 356 kilometers an hour in miles an hour? Cheers for that. 221 miles an hour. That's impressive, actually. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I told you chat would be quicker at it than <laughs> big speed. Great to the wall there. Turned in way too early there. Fucking hell. This car is really loud as well. Scrubbed off too much speed there. Could have gone quicker. I still can't believe I spent nearly two minutes this race just fighting with an AI. It wasn't even an AI in the game, you know, like where you should be fighting them. No. Favorite band artist owns two tanks. Jesus Christ. Oh, bye-bye suspension. Totally didn't need that. Is that a stock mines? I think it is. So my upgraded version is that much faster. It can do an entire lap quicker. Sabaton. Ah, I think I remember you mentioning them, actually. I think that's just absolutely mental to own a tank. Catching up with those bank markers again. Meow. Holy shit. Thank you for the posture check there. Uh, ooh, 542. Not too bad. This is going to be a short video at this rate, <laughs> with how quick this car is. Alright, time for us to drive around Suzuka Circuit now. Oh, hello. 
I didn't even know you could skip that animation by doing that. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, no, there's no restrictions in this event. That's the good thing about this game, is it doesn't restrict you as much as Motorsport 1. So, it will restrict you to a generalization. So... I thought they were going to crash into me. So, something like Supras versus Skylines. It will restrict you to that. But then, performance-wise, it allows you to go up. I think Motorsport 3, they changed it, so they let you have a limit. But, like, there was a fairly wide window that you could actually get your car into to be eligible for events in Motorsport 3 and 4. But yeah, Motorsport 2 was a lot better when it came to, like, event restrictions and stuff like that compared to... Oh, uh, what's it called? Motorsport 1. Whoa! Yeah, today actually is the only time I've ever seen it happen. But um, actually, a uh, fellow streamer that I know, uh, Dustin Eden, is currently streaming Motorsport 2 as well, which is mental. Because, like, nobody streams any of the old Forza games, except maybe Motorsport 3 and 4. Those are, like, the only two old Forza games that people really stream anymore. Motorsport 5 and 6 are pretty much dead. Motorsport 7's getting there, you know. Jesus, it gets quick down that... down that road. Bloody hell. I'm still very much surprised that we got a 225 on our first lap. Okay, maybe I'm not surprised. I like in Forza Motorsport 7 in the open track day events, I sometimes race people in similar cars. Yeah, that's that's not a bad idea, actually. The one that I like, uh, the one mode that I liked in Motorsport 7 was actually the... It was a beta feature, which was, like, uh, the penalty system. And they had an open rotation where everyone would take the same car, but they would have, like, the penalty system integrated and actually Forza's penalty system isn't too bad in Motorsport 7. The only problem is is that was the only online event they ever did with it. They never went any further with that online feature. So no matter what you always ended up with meh. Pretty much everyone just always ramming you off the track 24-7.
Crack flows very nicely through there. We are the prodigy. I didn't really have a choice when it came to what vehicle I took and performance upgrades because I needed a crap ton of it. A short Le Mans just cutting everything like if it was Paul Ricard without corner cutting. When you say the short Le Mans, do you mean the Bugatti circuit? Or do you mean like Le Mans without the chicanes? must die. Vader's must die. First one. So the Bugatti circuit, yeah. That's fair enough, yeah. The corners were quite easily cuttable in that, to be perfectly honest. Um, but the chicane was deadly still. It's an absolute pain in the ass to get through sometimes. Oh uh, yeah, after this game, we actually do get access to the Le Mans circuit in Motorsport 3 onwards. Motorsport 3 is basically where a load of good tracks came in. But they also got rid... Wow, this game actually got rid of a couple of the good ones from Motorsport 1. Uh, namely, Alpine Ring went. That should have stayed along with Maple Valley. In all honesty, if I had to pick a track to keep from Motorsport 1 that would survive the entire Motorsport genre, I would not have picked Maple Valley as that track. I would have picked uh, Alpine Ring. DNF everyone so penalties doesn't drop you. <laughs> That's a good shout. I can't be penalized if there's no one else to beat me. <laughs> Fuck corners. Bonk. Now that's a lot of damage. And I'm probably going to get charged for all that damage. It didn't look like I got charged for it. Woohoo! Right, here we go. Attempt number two. Flippin' egg. That acceleration is unreal. 150 miles an hour by the end of this straight. It's crazy to think about. This is mental. But uh, you can definitely tell this car is really low performing when it comes to corners. But high high speed corners is brilliant at. 
low speed ones, there's just nothing for it. Not bad. I wonder how long this race is actually going to take. I think it'll take about 10 minutes. Even with all the insane upgrades, it'll still probably take about 10 minutes, this one. Bono, where are my new tires? <laughs> Bono, why does he get some but not me? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's what Charles Leclerc was like during the British Grand Prix anyways. He was proper... Proper got out the car and acted like a stroppy kid. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. I'm going to spend it to outer space to find another race. I'm going to send it to outer space to find another race. I'm going to send it to outer space to find another race. What a tune. Oh, I gotta run to see it. Oh, I've done the engine in. That's what I did the last race. Why that wall does it do so much damage? Like, there could have been other walls that could have done that much damage, but no, it's just that one. I take your brain to another dimension. I take your brain to another dimension. I take your brain to another dimension. Pay close attention. Something that I'm not doing. Ferrari looks strong. But I I have a feeling Mercedes might have something up their sleeve. And we're either going to end up next season, Mercedes is going to dominate again. Or Mercedes is going to be a backmarker team. It's one of two things for 2023. So, that's all that's going to happen with Mercedes. 
Ferrari's probably going to tail off a little bit. Um, yeah. I'm going to send it to outer space to find another race. Yeah, it could be, actually. I think Lewis would still win. Because I don't think George is ready to win just yet. But if Lewis stays for 2024 and 2023, we could see Lewis get that um, eighth world title. That's all we want to see, really. Lewis to get his eighth world title and then happily retire. Oh! Forgot there was a corner there. But, one thing that's actually... Re I'm going to bring it back to the rallying now. One thing that's actually really exciting is we've almost got like a Lewis Hamilton situation, but in rallying now. So you know how, like, Lewis Hamilton came into rallying and was insanely good... On the year that he came into, uh, into sorry, into Formula One, Lewis Hamilton was mental in 2007, was it, that he joined? But he didn't win the world title. He then went back the next year, like the year after, and got the driver's title. And we're seeing a similar situation almost with, because um, I'm pretty sure Lewis was the youngest. Driver's champion when he won it. Um, but we're seeing a similar thing with um, Calais Rovenpera in uh, the WRC at the moment because he is absolutely storming the pack. I mean, he's got... I think he's got a 60-point lead in the WRC, which is a whole two rallies worth of points. Just straight up. Like, he could retire out of two rallies and he'd still be in first place. That's how much of a lead he's got. Um, and... Yeah, if if uh, Calais Robinpera wins the WRC, he'll be the youngest driver to ever win WRC by about seven years. Because I think the, the youngest at the moment... I'm not 100% sure whether it's Loeb or McRae or Ogier. But I know when McRae won it, he was the youngest at the time, definitely. Uh, and I think that age is about 27 at the moment. Calais 21, and he's going to be winning. I guarantee you he's going to win it, because he's had such an amazing performance so far this year. lost it. Not bad. Okay, so with a broken engine, we've absolutely stormed the pack still. So, uh, not too bad. I will take it. Let's have a look, see what rewards we get. Oh, there's a big Japan sale going on on Humble Bundle. Woohoo! Uh... 
We got a Racing Nismo GTR. And we got that as well. 42 grand. Ooh. Not bad, I'll take it. Thank you very much. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.